Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to your um, next reform class. So the weather is amazing and it's actually quite nice to be inside out of that beautiful but hot sun. Um, God, it's really, really hot. It's like we've been teleported to some kind of tropical island. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> not complaining though, not complaining. So I'm going to mix it up a little bit today. We are going to start off as usual with our footwork and our alignment and just trying to get centred. Um, and then I'm going to do the jump board. So we're going to go straight into the jump board quite fast today and then mix it up a little bit afterwards. So hope that's okay and let's get going. So let's do one red and two yellow springs. Um, if at this stage you want to you want to increase your springs and you just feel, you know what, I want to get a bit heavier, do your one red and your two yellow. Or one red, one yellow, one blue. If you want to be a little bit in between. Okay, so we don't need this. So three springs on, whichever you fancy, lying yourself down. Now just take a second. Okay, so arms down by your side. Just double check you're lined up correctly so your feet are in line with your knees, your knees are in line with your hips and you've got your core engaged and you're comfortable, okay? Make yourselves comfortable. Now try and breathe deeply and as you breathe just try and ground yourself and just let go of any distracting thoughts that are in your mind and concentrate on just focusing on yourself, your body, how it feels right now and that just calms the mind and that way we get the most out of the workout. So breathing in and breathing out, push the carriage away and bring it in. Start off slow if you can. Remember, we're getting into the jump on soon. So just take this first five minutes to warm the body up in a gentle way. Breathe in and breathe it out. Good. Keep your stomach nice and tight below your belly button. You can always place your hand just below your belly button and see if you can try and move the stomach away from your hand. Feel the tension, the tightness of the muscles contracting as your core is engaged. Now go straight into your heel sink. So under with your heel, up onto your toes and in. The same as we always start. Now keep checking your alignment. There's no point in doing this if you're not in alignment. And remember, you've created a lot of muscle memory. So your muscles, your alignment, those small little muscles, all those core muscles, they know exactly what they're doing at this stage. So you just have to put your mind into it and trust your body will know how to do the next stage. You're working in harmony with your body. Don't underestimate the power of that. And now go into your, into your walking. So bend the knee and sink the heel. And then switch, bend the knee and sink the heel. And then go into your rhythm. So your walking rhythm. Again, checking how your alignment is looking. Keeping everything tight around your pelvis and your hips. And breathing nice and deep. Feeling nice and strong. Your body's getting warmed up. It's getting knowing what it's doing. It's preparing. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Up onto your toes. Under with your heels. Stay there for a second and then up and under. And repeat as fast or as slow as you feel. Just finding your groove. Again, keep reminding yourself to tighten up and engage your core. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend and come in. Good. Now you should feel that in your ankles and your calves. Remember what that's doing. That's moving your lymph system, which is your immune system. So a really important little piece of work to do. Now, just increase your spring for me. If you did choose to go up to that highest spring to start with, leave it as it is. Grab your weights if you want to increase something and back down. So I've increased my spring now to one red and two yellows, but it's entirely up to you. If you don't feel ready for that, you can have your one red, one blue and one yellow. 
We're going to run through that same routine again. So just out and in. So get the body used to that slight increase of spring tension. Your alignment again. And five, four, three, two, and under with the heels and back in. Under, up and in. Heel six. Great. Right under, right up. Fantastic, guys. You're doing great. And five, four, three, and two, and one. Into your walking. Now you'll be feeling this already because the spring is a little bit asking a little bit more so you'll be feeling this earlier on that's all good remember you're totally able for this that tightness you're feeling in your calves just increase your core engagement be confident in your mind okay feel positive about what you're doing and three two one up onto your toes and under and up and under and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, whew, I'm feeling this, 4, 3, 2, 1, and in. <sighs> Cross at your ankles and just pull the knees into your chest. <sighs> and again, switch it around, pull the knees into the chest and relax through the lower spine okay now change your springs back to one red and two blues and grab your weights you're grabbing your weights yeah now if you have a band and you enjoyed using the band last time you can always use that again right now i'm not going to today but remember but if that's something that worked for you last time then go for it just above your knees. We can do all these same moves with the band. Arms up to the ceiling, one leg in tabletop. And we're going to push away, arms come down and bring it in. So we're going to add a few holds to this one. So the leg's going to stay in tabletop the whole time. The opposite foot is on the toe. And you're pushing right out and bringing it in. The arms are coming down and lifting up to the ceiling. Now, we're gonna push out, the arms are down. We're gonna hold this position. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring everything back in, and again, two more. Pause, five, four, three, two, one. One more time, really remember to engage your core. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to do three more. We're going to add the heel sink. Okay, so push out, hold, and pause for me. But this time, three heel sinks. One, two, three, and in. And again, arms down, heel sink. One, two, three, arms up. Strong through your arms, engage your arm muscles, and down. Okay, pause and hold it now. Heel sink. Three, two, one, and in. Excellent job, guys. Switch over. Please double check each time that you're aligned. Arms are up, legs in tabletop, and push away. Arms come down, in, arms come up. In and out, in and out. Keep on working this. Good. Five, four, three, two. Now add the hold. Three, two, one, and in, and again. Three, two, one, and in, and again. Three, two, one, and in. Now we're going to do the same three seconds, but this time with three heel sinks. Push out, stay out, heel sink. Three, two, one, and in, two more, push out, heel sinks, three, two, 
two, one, and in again. Last time, three, two, one, and in. Excellent job. Okay. We're going to bring the arms nice and wide this time and in. So I want you to bring your elbows into the sides, into your sides, but up off the carriage. Palms are facing in towards each other. And as you push the carriage away, the legs are going to be extended and the arms are going to open like so. So they're kind of like small little arms opening up. So not the big wide arms with the straight elbow. Your elbow's bent and, it, uh, and the upper part of your arm is in, in towards your chest. So keep the legs strong over the top of the foot bar. Push the carriage out and open the arms, keeping the elbows in to your ribs. And in. push out, open, in, open, in. Good, now get a rhythm on with this. So the arms are opening, closing, opening, closing, but remember, the elbows are still in near your rib cage. Core engaged, leg over the top of the foot bar, toe pointed. Now increase your speed if you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Other side. Leg over the top of the foot bar. Lift the elbows up and off the carriage. Don't have them resting on the carriage. They're up and off the carriage, but they're into your ribs. Open, close, open, close. Get a bit of a speed on. That leg that's over the foot bar, keep it strong, long, toe pointed. Glide it over the top of the foot bar. Good. Now focus on the arm movement. Small, but strong. Five, four, three, two, one, and in. Brilliant job, guys. Okay. Whew. Stretch it on out. Okay. Now, leg over the top of the foot bar. Same position with the foot, slightly different variation with the arm. I'm going to have to just move my box. Sorry, otherwise, I'm going to just feel it. Okay, so leg over the top of the foot bar. Now, this time we're going to open the arms a little bit wider. So they're up off the reformer carriage, they're bent at the elbow, palms are facing inwards, and then you're going to open them as wide and then back in. Wide and in, and wide and in. Good. Nice and wide. You'll feel this more in your shoulders, across the shoulder. Good. And your biceps. Good. Watch that leg. Make sure it's solid and it's not wandering too far up. Wide and in. Wide and in. Now, speed it up. Wide, in, wide, in. Come on, get those arms really pumping. Come on, big movement. You're going to have to be fast. The arms are going to have to be wide, closed, wide, closed. Come on, focus. Arms, arms. Five, four, watch the leg, squeeze the core. Three, two, come wider. And relax. Okay. Last one on the other side. Whew. Okay, palms inwards, facing together. Up off the carriage. Push the carriage away, arms wide. Come on, I want you then weights to be feeling heavy across your shoulders and your bicep. Pull in, pull. Good. Just watch that leg. Mine's lifting every time I push out because I'm focusing on my arms. So I'm going to try, stabilize a bit stronger through my hip to stop the lift on the leg. Good. Keep checking yourself. And come on, arms, faster. Really demand a lot from the arms. Come on, let's get them going. Five, four, three, come on, nice and wide. Two, one, and in. Good. <sighs> Feeling that on the arms? Good job. Okay, jump on.
of time. Grab the jump ball. Let's go. Drop your foot back, change your springs to a red, um, a blue and a yellow. So we're going for a nice, simple medium spring. With a blue and a yellow. Okay, so jump and land, jump and land. Always keep checking your feet as you jump off the foot bar, through the toes, and down. Okay, keep on jumping. Elevate, lift. I don't think heart rate's lift, but you know what I mean. And down. Good. This is a lovely spring. It's not too demanding. So enjoy it. Enjoy just getting that cardio in without exhausting yourself. Find your groove and your rhythm. Try and get right to the end of the carriage. Jump and land. Good. Keep on going, guys. Nice and simple. We're just going to add some length to this. Keep on going. No stopping. Push through that pain barrier. Find your rhythm. Lovely. Watch your legs. Make sure you're happy with the positioning of your feet. Now you'll start to feel this in your thighs. Your heart rate should be up, but you're definitely not completely out of breath. Stay in this place for another couple of minutes. You can just keep this going. Zone out. Close your eyes. Listen to the birds singing. Do whatever it is you need to do. Look at that beautiful view. Or make one up in your mind. Breathe and just keep going. Come on, we can do this. One more minute. Come on. If you found your groove, stay in it. You'll be feeling it now. Your body will be like, can we stop yet? Oh no. Come on, another 30 seconds. But enjoy it, don't get stressed over it. Just stay in the groove. Come on, 20 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And now you can stop. <laughs> and now you can rest. Take some breath, stay where you are, relax. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna stay on that spring because what I'm trying to create is a bit of longevity, a bit of stamina, okay? We're not gonna be switching from spring to spring, maxing out, pulling it back, maxing out, pulling it back. I wanna keep this medium paced, but for a reasonable amount of time. So you're still on your blue and your yellow spring. We're going to go to single legs. We're going to switch between the two legs to start with. So lie down again, switch and switch. So you're jumping off one leg and you're pulling as you just after you've jumped. Just bring that knee into your chest and outstretch the other leg. Point your toes with this. Good. And again, find your groove. You don't have to speed through these. Get yourself to the end of the carriage. Take a 
your time. Breathe. Keep telling your shoulders and your arms to relax. Keep focusing your mind. Try and not get those thoughts to run away with you. And always feel strong and positive. You know you're able for this. Don't ever doubt that. You've totally got this. This is just building on that already, already existent, fabulous strength. Coordination. Focus, jump, switch, jump, switch. Engage your core more below your belly button. Pull it into your spine. Lift up through your pelvic floors if that suits you. Focus. No stopping. Keep on going. Jump, switch, jump, switch. Good. Okay. Are you feeling it? A little bit? Just a little bit. Now stop in. Don't quit. Good. Remember, we're not in a hurry to switch through these moves. We're just sticking with the same move. Keep on going. Enjoy it. Relax the mind. We're not racing through these. Keep on going. Let's do one more minute. Switching your leg, bringing your knee into your chest. Relax your arms. Good. Nearly there. Last 30 seconds. Come on. Stick at the same pace. Keep that rhythm flowing. Good. Give me 10 more seconds. Four. Three. yourselves a few seconds to relax and the heart rate drop okay good I'm staying on the same spring take a few breaths maybe get out a glass of water if you need to we're gonna do the same spring but we're gonna jump off the same leg and then we're gonna switch to the other leg so we're gonna give a good few good few jumps on one leg switch to the other leg so Bring one leg into the tabletop and the other foot is onto the jump board. And keep on going. Jump and jump. Good. Now the leg stays in tabletop to start with, but we are going to play around with that leg too. Good. Now you might need to do shorter jumps with this. Pace yourself. It's entirely up to you. You can do shorter hops or you can push right off and jump right to the end and have a longer jump. It's entirely up to you. Just find your group, that's all. Just find what works for you and just stick with it for a little bit longer than you want to. <laughs> okay, now if you've got bad knees or there's something in your leg that this repetition is, whew, um, if, if there's something that this, because we're repeating this over and over again, if there's something it's bringing out, a little ache or a pain, just switch over, okay? Of course, always look after yourselves. I'm gonna stick with this leg because I'm feeling it a little bit in my knee because I've got weak knees, but I do know that pushing through it is actually good for me. So I'm gonna push through this. Now, straighten the opposite leg, keep it straight. So you're jumping off the same leg, but now you've got the leg stuck up in the air. Oh yeah. And the jumping leg is starting to get tired. You've got your leg now straight, which is in a tougher position. So you're going for it, but we're nearly there. Let's do 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. That was quite intense, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, we're going to swap over. Don't let the heart rate completely drop. Let's just take a break, take a breather. 
And then let's get straight back to it. Let's build on this. Leg in tabletop. Opposite leg is your jumping leg. And just keep on going. Commit to it. Don't fight it. Just go with it. Good. Keep breathing deep. Keep reminding yourself to pull your core tight. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Your hands. Good. And keep on jumping. Come on, a little bit more. We've got this. You're doing great, guys. Keep on going. I'm going to ask you to straighten your leg in five seconds. Two, one, straighten the leg and keep on jumping. On the downward stretch now. Just keep on that same rhythm, no matter how you're feeling. Just keep on the same rhythm. Focus your mind. Squeeze your core. Feel the noises, the sounds. Get into the rhythm and just keep on going. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now relax. Whew, okay. Take a break. <sighs> Collapse. Breathe. I'm regretting not bringing water. Increase the spring, okay? But don't worry, we're not going to do power jumps. I'm not going to do that to you. So increase your spring so you have um, one red and two yellow. One red and two yellow. And remember, if this is not suiting you, you can spring down to one red and two blues. Okay, all fours on the carriage, so you're a box position. One foot on the foot bar. Uh, jump on. You're going to push it out and bring it in. Your foot's not going to leave the jump board. You're just going to be pushing it out and bringing it in. Because you're on such a heavy spring, to try and jump in this position will send you flying. So, you're not leaving the, the jump board. But I want a nice fast rhythm. Push out and in. Good. Bending and straightening. Keep on going, you can do this. Squeeze your core, I want the upper body as solid as a rock. Your shoulders are strong, your arms are strong. And you'll be feeling this, let's do 10. Five, four, three, Switch it on over. <clears throat> okay, make sure your knee is under your hip. You haven't crept into the center. Don't throw yourself off balance. Knee under your hip, hands, wrists under shoulders. Square yourself off. Squeeze your core and go for it. Okay, you're pushing away from that jump bar and pulling it back in. You are relying on a rhythm because I want you maxed out with your speed. So, nice fast pace. Keep on going. Well done. Remember, we want a rhythm and we're building, adding to it. You might want to stop a bar now, but we'll keep it on going. Okay, we're we'll keeping on going. 10, seven, Change your springs to one red and two yellow. 
but they should already be on. If you feel like your power jumps are going to push you a little bit too much, choose your one red and two blue. It's absolutely fine. I'm going to go for it on the two yellow. And we're going to do 50. Now, I know the last time we did this, I did feel that we could have done a bit more. <clears throat> but because of the way we've worked it and the amount that we've done, the repetitions have increased, I think 50 is fair. But if you want to do more, knock yourselves out. Okay, so we're going to go for it. I'm going to count in tens. I'm going to do it with you. One, two, three, four. chill take a few nice big breaths into your stomach stretch your legs out if you need to so we're going to be using them again next and then take your jump rod off okay <clears throat> so remove your jump rod okay now i know we've concentrated a lot on legs need it. Grab your box. Christine, your grand, you can just use the floor next to your reformer. You know what you're doing. Pop the box beside your reformer, change your spring to one yellow and pop up your foot bar. One yellow spring, foot bar back up. Grab your weights this time, not your circle. Okay, so grabbing your weights. Okay, now at this stage you'll be feeling a bit hot and a bit sweaty and your heart rate's still up and we are still using our legs. This is all part of the master plan, baby, so let's just go. So, push the carriage away, lift the arms forward, carriage comes in, arms drop down by your side. Okay, let's go. Push back and sink down. Engage your core, keep your shoulders back and down. easier for you because we're not talking so please concentrate on your breath your heart rate will slow you'll start to feel more focused and your legs they'll be feeling it all right this is good so i've got quite a fast pace on and that's what i'd like you to be doing a fast pace but the slower pace suits you more that's okay guidelines. Do your own thing if you need to. And up and down. Keep your breath focused and sink nice and low and lift it up. Okay, keep on going. I know you're feeling it. I'm sure as heck feeling it too. Oh yeah, sink and up. So you're sticking in that rhythm. Similar theme. Speed, rhythm, legs, cardio. Just a little bit slow. Now let's do five more. Stick with your rhythm if you can. And three. And two. Now this last one, down and hold. I know it's the last thing you want to be doing. But hold it for me. Hold it a bit longer. Three, two, one. And relax. Let that hold finish you off. Good, okay. Weights on the carriage. Box to the other side. <clears throat> Line it up nicely. And keeping your, keeping your heart rate up. Grab your weights, foot forward on the box, opposite foot against 
with shoulder block, you know what you're doing. Forward with your shoulders, hips are in line, core is tight. Bend your elbows up to your chest. Uh, sorry, down to your waist. Bend your elbows up to your chest as you push out. And again, bend, push. And again, just finding your rhythm. Faster pace. Keep your breathing controlled. Keep your core tight. And bend with the arms and down. Whew. Okay. So you're standing and you're stabilizing leg or feeling it too. That's putting a lot of effort in to keep you stabilized. That's good. Your core is tight. Shoulders back and down, please. Knee up. Elbows bent. Bend straight. Okay. Keep on going. Five. Four. Three. Two. Give me one more. Hold it. Okay. Pause everything. Come on, you should be shaking. Squeeze. You should be hot, you should be shaking, you should be feeling this. Five, four, three, two, one. And just relax. Good job, guys. Guess what? I'm gonna leave your legs alone now. <sighs> A unanimous sigh of relief. <laughs> Weights to the side. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the abs. Abage. A little bit of abage. Now, we're going to choose the one, one red, one blue. One red, one blue. It's a hundred. Okay. Lay down. Don't be tempted to press pause. Come on, let's just go through this. We have got, we've got 10 minutes left. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Okay. One red and one blue. <clears throat> Arms up, legs in tabletop. Okay, so we are going to bring the ankles and the knees together. They're not hip width apart, they are tight together. And you're going to stretch them straight out, go right into the full version and bring them back in. Okay, shuffle down, stretch right out. Keep your legs together this time, not into your hip width. Always together. Now, really engage down your legs. So as you're in that full version, you're gonna stretch your legs nice and long, tighten the whole length of them legs, and then bring it back. And exhale, stretch the legs, squeeze them together. Imagine somebody's zipped them up, and then back. And exhale, come on, point your toes, extend those legs right through the hips, hold it, and back. Hold it and back. Now I want you to focus on your core. So as you're here, your legs are together and they're zipped. But now, little tiny pulse up higher. So that just increases that core engagement. Can you just feel that when you just lift up a tiny bit more? Good. And then back. Okay. And again, everything out. Hold it. Now just go back deeper by just lifting up a tiny bit more. You're crunching in more. And then back. Good. Legs are forward, arms are forward, okay? Now, pulse in slightly. Good, hold it, and back. Even if you can just hold that little lift for a second, it's all good. Up and forward. Now, lift up slightly, oh, crunch it, and back. Everything's forward. Lift through the waist, lift up, lift up, and back. Two more, hold it. Lift and back. Last one. Forward. Lift, hold it, squeeze it. Squeeze it more. Back. Good. Big difference when you do that, isn't it? Okay. Whew. Very intense. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit on with the arms. Legs are going to start straight up. Arms are straight up. This time we're going to go into the full version and then we're going to open the arms, close the arms and bring everything back. If the legs being straight puts you off too much, by all means keep them in your tabletop. 
So I'm going to talk you through the straight leg version. Arm straight, leg straight. Go into your full version. Open your arms, close your arms, and back. And again, full version. Open the arms just up to your shoulder and then back. Don't go past your shoulder, it puts too much pressure on your neck. And back into your waist and then back up. So everything goes forward. You go open the arms, close the arms, legs and arms, back up. Three more. And back. Two more. Squeeze your core, guys. Open, close, back. Last one. And open, close, and back. Bend the knees in. Pop the straps behind you. And let's just pull it out slightly. Knees into chest. Rocking from side to side. Pull out your lower back. Oh, great job. Okay, now change your spring to your yellow spring, okay? So you've got your one yellow spring. Now, oh, grab your squishy ball for me. And I want you to sit towards the front of your carriage with the ball in your hand. Roll down, roll down, roll down, and then roll onto the ball like so. Your chin is into your chest. <clears throat> your shoulders are back. You can hold on to the front of the carriage if you want to. And now bring your two feet onto the foot bar. Now just hold in this position. I'm already feeling this in my upper stomach. That's good. Okay, engage your core and just push away from the foot bar and then bring the carriage in. Now you've got a light spring. So the movement is simply knocking it off balance slightly. So it's making you really fight to keep your balance and your stability and this position. You should be feeling right across your stomach, but this squishy ball towards the lower part of your back is helping you a little bit. It's giving you a bit of stabilization. And use that. Give me three more. One. And two. And give me one more. Three. And then roll yourself back. Now, if you are not feeling that, then you need to just roll back slightly more. I want you to be really fighting to hold this position. The movement doesn't increase the core engagement. That doesn't add anything other than adds, you need stabilization. So you need to be in the position where you are fighting and working. So let's go again. Roll back onto the ball. Now, Feet on the foot bar, hands towards the front of the carriage. Now this position here is the position you're gonna maintain, so you need to be feeling it. If you're too high, you're not gonna be feeling it. If you're too low, you're not gonna be feeling it. I don't want you just pressing right into that ball. The ball is just there as a small bit of stability. You, your weight shouldn't be flattening that ball out in any way. It's all stomach holding you in this position, okay? And then, simply, straighten the legs and bend the legs. Nothing else changes. You're already in that working position. Your hands, they're rested onto the reformer carriage, but they're not holding you again in position. You should be able to hover your arms up if you want to. They are just resting there. And again, the ball is just a small bit of stability for your lumbar spine. It is not in any way helping you. This is all belly, baby. Okay, let's go for three, two, and one, and in. Okay, I'm gonna do one more set then, and then I will leave you alone. Okay, reach behind on the carriage for me. Pull open through your collarbones, spread your shoulders wide, pull back through your scapula and look up to the ceiling. And breathe through your stomach, okay? So that opens your entire midsection. And breathe into your belly. Good. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of them. Ball. So you're seated, you're tucking, and you're rolling until you can feel the ball, but you are not pressing against the ball. You're just kissing the ball with your back. So you're not collapsing into it. Your feet are on the foot bar, your hands are either hovering in the air, or just rested on the foot, on the carriage. Okay, movement. 
That's the movement. Hold the position. Okay. Now remember, find your rhythm. Just like we have done this whole class, we've increased the reps, we've increased the speed, and we've fell into some kind of little groove. Focus the mind, good for the brain. Brain matches the movement of the body. Feel strong, regulate your breathing, pull through your core, and just hold your position. Hold your position. Good, now squeeze your core a bit more. If you're stomach, I want a few little shakes going on with that stomach. If not, go back a bit more. Hold it, come on, squeeze. This should get your upper core. Go, let's do five, four. Let's lift the arms. Three, two, give me one more, and one. And you're doing it, guys. You're doing it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe just take a moment. Breathe into your stomach. So you can reach back like we just did if that suits you. Or you can just lengthen through your torso and lengthen through the whole of your stomach. And then breathe into it. Stretch it, lengthen it, and breathe into it, okay? Those muscles have really got a good little work out there. Okay, well done, guys. I liked the flow of that. I actually liked that. It's um, it's hard to do in a class that kind of thing because everyone's in a different vibe and in a different zone. But if you're doing this on your own and you can switch off to everything around you, you can really just find your groove with these reps, can't you? So if you're ever putting something together yourself, bear that in mind if that suited you. Just zone out and just keep banging through them. Keep going. You don't have to always race on to the next move. That's really good and fun for a class. But sometimes on that one-on-one -on -one thing, when you're on your own, let's go into our stretches. So just switch to your blue spring. Sorry. Get excited. I'm yakking away. I don't talk to many people, you know. <laughs> talking to a camera. I'm getting real into it. So anyway, tell me about everything. <laughs> I don't see anyone, you know. It's like little people. And well, you can go. You can. So you're stretching out like you know you like you know how to. Reach across and stretch through your arms and your shoulders. Feel it in your stomach as well. Get a nice big stretch through the whole of your upper body. And then bring the carriage in and across. Okay. And switch it around to the other side. Left leg in front. Uh, sorry, right leg in front, right arm, on the foot bar. Stretch it over, and then twist into it and push through the foot bar. Feel it in your shoulder sockets, down your arms, of course, but feel it in your shoulders. Also stretching out right through your stomach if you can, because that's just where we've worked, so it'll be feeling a bit sensitive, so appreciate that stretch a bit more. Up and over the ground. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now arm in front, across your body, hold it at the elbow, and look across your shoulder. If you're flexible enough, just keep your legs crossed, and then try and lengthen your spine, and hold this position for a couple of seconds, shake it out, cross the body again, and hold the position. Nice couple of breaths. Now reach behind, and reach behind, push the carriage away, and just Hold the position. Look up to the ceiling if you can. Feel it shooting all down your arms. Pull your shoulders back in. Give them a little move if you want to encourage that. Loosening through your shoulders. Pull them towards each other a bit if you can. And then pull it in. Oh, get everything moving and grooving again. Ooh, and then one more time. Push away. Good. Ooh, now. Do a quick one on the legs, so you're on your knees. Please double check the foot bar safe. We don't want to injure your foot into the centre. Push the carriage away. Stretch it out. The further back you push that carriage, you can open up through the hip flexor as well. But only if you've got the strength to hold the position. If not, just concentrate on the leg that is on the foot bar. 
swap it over, push the carriage away. You can just sit into it, push through the knee so the leg falls away from you so you can feel your hip flexor or you can just concentrate on the leg that's on the foot back. In. And you're done guys, you are done. Okay, well I really enjoyed that class, I thought that was a really nice that really suited the flow. I really enjoyed that. I just, um, I wish we were all being able to do it together. But then there is something quite nice about finding your space. And I know all of you guys who've got one of my reformers have got beautiful spaces. Um, and some of you have got the most spectacular spaces. And you can open up your garage doors or you can look out your windows and just really soak it all in. And I know this lockdown situation is now changing slightly. Um, but we've probably got a little bit of a way to go and don't let yourself get overly um, agitated or anxious by these changes. I know a lot of us are having to like think about going back and doing some, going back to work somehow. And it can really like be another change to get used to and we've got so used to um, being isolated. So go easy on yourself is what I'm saying. Be nice to yourselves and be gentle because these things that are happening out there they're quite big um, and we haven't chosen any of this. So we're just having to navigate it. And there's a lot of stress and anxiety and just weirdness with it all. But remember, we're all in it together and it's all gonna be good. And just please go easy on yourselves and keep all this moving through yourself. Keep doing your movement and your exercise and focus in your mind and enjoying those environments that I know you're all blessed to have. So well done guys. And I will be in touch and we'll see you all soon.